How's it going, everyone? Wayne the Unknown here, and welcome to Cosplay Con Talk, where we basically discuss everything pertaining to the cosplay community and conventions. I'm here with Dave Hayworth at Metal Art Comic Con for the very first convention showcase. How are we doing, Dave? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. So this is Metal Arc's, what, fourth, fifth year now? Fifth year. Ah, yeah, yeah. nice. So, yeah, right now we're the longest-running uh, Comic Con in central southern Oregon, and uh, you know, we're going to continue to get bigger and uh, more guests and... And more fun. So who do we have to look forward to today to see? Uh, Brian A. Prince, who was the Predator in the Predator movies, uh, the 2020, uh, 2018 film. We have um, Sandra Nelson, who played Darth Vader in the Star Wars Special Edition uh, re-release. And we have uh, Alan Fernandez, who is the last living original Tusken Raider from Episode 4. And then we have an actress from Hocus Pocus. So if you want to know who she is, you're going to have to come out and see for yourself. <laughs> and then we have uh, Marvel DC artist Chris Marinan. We have George Pacheco, who is recently now doing the uh, Oliver and Hardy uh, comic books and Casper and Popeye. A lot of the old classics that they're bringing back now in comic books. And then Louis um, Rivera, who uh, does Team Colossus, a lot of the in-house books that we have uh, at the convention. And we have uh, Floyd Sumner, who does a lot of... Uh, cabbage uh pale kids and if you get here early enough uh you will actually get a free um exclusive uh garbage pail uh kids uh card for your collection nice and i'm sure everyone's looking forward to see that also we have distant nerding here today as well uh yeah they're local uh well they're not a local podcast but <laughs> they've driven some some hours here uh but, uh, you know, hey, if you're a local podcast, we're always willing to have you uh, do what they're doing, which is hosting uh, panels and interviewing celebrities. And uh, they're going to be giving a lot of free gifts uh, like Funko Pops and things like that uh, as prizes for trivia questions and things that they're doing. <laughs> nice. And I'm sure those who will, will be looking forward to this again, Dave, thank you. And hopefully everyone enjoys this Metal Art Comic Con. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you. I'm here with Cosplay Me at Metal Art Comic Con. How's it feel to be back, Amy? It feels awesome. It's something I look forward to every year. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a great turnout and our biggest one yet. And you're cosplaying again as Miss Metal Art, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I've been cosplaying their mascot since their inaugural year. Um, and it just keeps getting more fun and the fandom keeps growing. And that was back in what, 2018? I think so. It gets really hard to count the years because 2020 and 2021 didn't happen in my mind. <laughs> so what are you doing this year for the con? Um, so we're hosting the Lip Sync Contest, uh, which is a newer event that we took inspiration from some of the bigger anime conventions that have them. And uh, Southern Oregon's been super enthusiastic about it. We have a lot of people who like to ham it up. So we'll be doing that at noon. And then we have the cosplay contest and uh, people really get into it around here. So there's lots of Big builds and creativity on display. And how long have you doing Metal, uh, metal Art cosplay for now? Uh, since about 2018. And then in general, I've been cosplaying uh, since 2012. This will be my 10 year cosplay anniversary this September. Well, happy on being a cosplay veteran now. Yeah, I should get a medal or a flag <laughs> or a star. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just old and I don't get anything fancy for doing that. <laughs> Well, looking forward to seeing what this con has to offer, and of course, also looking forward to the cause. Are you hosting the lip sync contest? 
yes, I'll be hosting the lip sync contest and I'll be hosting the uh, cosplay contest. So. Well, I'm sure everyone will be looking forward to that. And again, Amy, thank you for wanting uh, for this interview and everything. Yeah, thanks so much for covering the event, and I look forward to seeing anyone who comes at this year or next year's con. And I'm Wendy Known. Thank you for watching. I'm here with Kyle of Kyle Rock Art at Metal Art Comic Con. How are you doing, Kyle? I'm doing great today. Thank you. So, mind telling us a little bit about your booth and what you do? Well, um, I like to mix uh, plus size women with pen, uh, with nerdy fan art. I mean, from what I'm seeing right now, right, right where we got uh, your table of the Bulma and Harley Quinn, really well done, Lord. Um How long have you been doing this stuff for? Well, I've been doing cons only for two years. This is only my like fifth con or so, uh, but I started drawing about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, on kind of a whim, and it's been a great time. What, do you remember what your very first plus size nerd art was of? Uh, Tinkerbell. Very nice. not exist in the print form right now. <laughs> Again, it's really well done, and hopefully, uh, have, have any shoppers come by yet? Oh yeah, we've sold some things already. It's been a really good time. Which one has been the most uh, sought after one of today? Uh, today has actually been one of my non plus size pinup, but uh, Laszlo the Vampire from What We Do in the Shadows. Ooh, very nice. Well, I hope everyone's been enjoying this. I hope you get more customers and everything. Me too. That'd be great. But otherwise, it's just a fun time to be here anyways. Again, thank you, by the way. Anytime. And hopefully you enjoy the con. I will, I'm sure. How's it going, everyone? I'm with here with Phil and James of the Distance Nerding Podcast. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, James? I'm doing good. I'm feeling really good. I'm excited for Metal Art Comic Con. Now, this is your guys' first time here, if I'm not mistaken. In Oregon, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is our fourth con of the year with uh, Colossus Girl, uh, but this is the first con in Oregon, uh, but not the last one. We're going to be doing another one in October as well. Oh, that's right. Adam Edford. Adam Edford. So, how are you liking it here in Oregon so far? So far, everybody's been super cool. Everybody's been super nice. It's beautiful here in Oregon. I love it. Um, we went to Idaho. We went to Nevada. We, we've we done uh, our California, our home state. So it's exciting to be here up in Oregon. Well, I'm sure those who are here will be looking forward to seeing you. So you guys have the booth right here and the one in the main building. Correct. Yeah. So uh, we have the main stage right here where we'll be, where we'll be doing all the interviews with the celebrities and everything like that. Uh, and then inside we have an actual booth with uh, all of our merch and everything like that. Anything else you'd like to add in here real quick? James? We got all kinds of panels. We got a Star Wars panel and the impact of Star Wars and pop culture coming up with two actors from Star Wars. So that'll be amazing. Vader we have himself. Vader himself, see Andrew Nelson. We have uh, Brian A. Prince 
who was in oh Black Panther and in uh, Predator. Captain Marvel, he's and like he was the Predator yeah. like in really the Predator movie. Indie movie called Predator. Yeah, exactly. It was great. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be super fun. Well, I'm sure those who will be here to check it out will be looking forward to seeing you guys and also stop by your booth and everything. And, um, by the way, I forgot to ask, what kind of stuff will you have in your booth? Because I saw some uh, nice little uh, things on your booth. Uh, so we have Dubby, if you guys are interested in uh, some some uh, energy type of drink and all that. But then we have these hats, these beautiful black, these uh, baller black and uh, what we like to call galaxy gray hats. And they are stitched. Uh, we have shirts. Uh, the The pops that you saw over there uh, are not for sale those are giveaways Ooh, so you yeah, have to be giveaways. here at the at the at the con in order to get those nice. and again i'm sure those who are looking forward to this will be again looking forward to you guys again i apologize for those who are watching this is my first time doing this in person it's, okay. it's early <laughs> this is the exclusive it's okay. this is early well i think that should do it again looking forward to seeing you guys uh podcasts wait, and everything. Wait, wait. are you gonna join us um, I mean, if you, got, if you want to, why not? You guys will probably see me on stage. This is all, by the way, pre-recorded. It won't be up for like next that's, week. That's fine. Ours, ours isn't going to be up for a while. So yeah, <laughs> looking forward to seeing you all here at Metal Arc Comic Con. So I'm here with Mo and Haley at Metal Arc Comic Con. How are you guys liking the con so far? Oh, the con is beautiful. Loving it. Oh my god. This is my first time ever at any type of con, so I'm having really excited. And I just got third place in the lip sync contest. Congratulations. I just kind of, I just saw the ending of that. How was it? Oh, it was nerve-wracking, but it was super fun. Super fun. I yeah, I was it. so proud of her. I, she's such a performer. She did so amazing. <laughs> and this is your your second year at, uh, second year at this con, Mo? Yes, this is actually my second year, yes. And I enjoy it very well. I, I'm loving it, and I'm gonna come back every year. Nice. What else you guys like? What do you guys think of the con so far? Yeah, I think the con is great. I love to see all the people. Notice that everybody's in their elements and so happy, and I just love being around these kind of people. Anything else you like to add in about this con? Anything else you like? Anything else you like to add in about the con? I want to come every year. And yeah. Yeah. It's so fun. Definitely, definitely. I'm just yeah. Show off my little helmet, you know, Red Bull. Uh, but yeah, definitely, just having a great time, and we make sure we're gonna come back every year. Well, I'm sure those who will watch this and those who are here will be looking forward to seeing you guys again. Definitely. Again, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. No, so I have one at the end.
I'm here with Brian A. Prince, actor of Predator in the 2018 Predator film. How are we doing, Brian? Doing good. How you doing? Pretty good. So, is this your first con here? Uh, it's my first con in Oregon. But nice. Not my first well, how are you liking it so far? So far, it's pretty good. I uh, just got set up and looking forward to the day. Yeah. Nice. And I see you got your booth, all everything set up too, huh? Oh, yeah. Looking nice. forward to all the guests coming to see you? Yeah, sure am. Nice. Nice. Able to bring some Funko Pops to sign. That's usually what I end up signing the most of. Nice. And I see you also got some uh, handmade drawings as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm an artist. So I'm nice. What I'm thinking. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So real quick, what was it like playing the Predator? Um, it's funny. It's an open-ended question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of everything. I mean, I think... Hmm. I think when people ask that, they usually want me to be like, oh, it was great or like it was bad. But it's it's like, I guess, like life, it was like a rainbow of experiences. Like I couldn't just say one thing to describe it. It was some of the greatest times of my life and some of the hardest struggles I've ever been through. Um, trying to do something like that where I was both trying to capture an iconic character and at the same time do something new. That would be something for me to explore it was like a very big undertaking. Um, and while it was like extremely difficult at times, it was also like extremely fulfilling. And I would do it again in a second. You know? Very nice. Well, I'm sure those who are coming to see this will be looking forward to see you. Awesome. And again, I hope you enjoy the con as well, man. Yeah, I will. Thank all you. right. Thank you. You're very welcome. And yeah. again, Trollos, hopefully you all enjoy the con. Wacky Art of Floyd Man here at Metal Art Comic Con. How you doing, Floyd? I'm doing great. This is a great show, and we're having a lot of fun. Today. So is this your second return or first time here? This is my second year. Here. Yeah, I think, yeah, you were here last I year. I was here last second. year, yeah. yeah. So mind telling us the kind of art you do? Um, the art I do is a mix between uh, Carter Show Kids, Mad Magazine, uh, Rat Fink, um, just some fun underground type stuff. That I, I do art that I enjoy Creating. So, how long have you been doing it for now? Um, I've been doing it since I can remember. You know, um, I've been doing shows for about ten years. Or so. Nice. And yeah, just doing my own thing. You know, yeah, and I just do my art. So. I mean, from what you know, we can see. Oh yeah, I do caricature. Um, you know, I do a little horror. I do a little fun stuff. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So. That's my Rocking Dead set right there. John Just Joplin, David Lee Roth, you know, all your favorites. Well, again, Floyd, I hope you're enjoying the con. And for I, I got to make sure to not have that too close to me. Yeah. I don't know. For those who are watching or here at the con, be sure to stop by Floyd Man and also be sure to check him out. Yeah. Do you have an Instagram? Um, I have an Instagram. It's the real Floyd Man on Instagram, I believe. And then my uh, my store is uh, planetf.storeenv.com. Nice. So. Well, yeah, be sure to check those out. And again, Floyd, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. You're welcome. Bye, guys.
I'm here with Sean from the 916 Ghostbusters. How are you doing, Sean? Doing great. Now, is this your first time in Metal Ark, or is this your second return? This is actually my first time here. How are you liking it so far? It's great. Really great. I, I've done uh, their uh, other events around in uh, Nevada and California that they host. So I, kn I know the owners very well and the, they put on some amazing shows. So I'm actually glad that they invited me out here. Uh, you know, basically a little bit of an honor that they invited me out just to come and participate uh, a little bit out of my state since I'm based in California out of Sacramento. And they have a bunch of big cons over there too. Huge cons, yes. I mean, we're talking not just about you know the, our our hometown one of Sac Anime, but uh, you know we got WonderCon that comes around. Uh, you go down, of course, uh, Southern California. You got the famous San Diego Con, LA Con. But I mean, yeah, no, there's a lot up in uh, the northern part. Uh, you know, like I said, with Sac Anime, we got uh, also another famous one of uh, Silicon. That's owned by Adam Savage himself from Mythbusters. So I, heard he, I heard he runs a, uh, around with the con down there. Yep, yeah, he bought it two years ago. So he owns the right to it 100%. Nice. And uh, it's actually happening next month. So actually, I will be down in San Jose, California, attending Silicon. So. <laughs> Very nice. How are you liking Metal Arc Comic Con so far? Oh, it's great. I mean, yeah. I... I uh, just a great atmosphere, uh, you know, first time out of uh, California for me, you know, being all the way up this far, you know, but I'm about six hours away from home. Uh, uh, getting a chance to meet a lot of great cosplayers, uh, you know, from the Southern Oregon area. And it's just a, it's been a great atmosphere with the attendees as well. Everyone's, you know, polite, you know, they're excited to see me too. You know, I got my truck, my Stay Puff outside, so. Yeah, I saw that. Um, on, tell us a little bit about, uh, about your booth. Yeah, sure, I can. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so basically, uh, you know, I'm here. Uh, once you're able to get the camera turned around, I got a little bit of stuff here. So a lot of uh, you'd say uh, ghost hunting equipment. So uh, proton packs on display, up and running right now. We got some ecto goggles, um, PKE meter. Got got a ghost trap on the on the table. We also have our case files from some of the iconic ghosts that. The ghost hunters have faced over the years, so not just the infamous Slimer, Zool, Vince, uh, you know, Gozer, but, you know, we've got some Sandman, Sam Hain, if you know from the real Ghostbusters, so some some uh, nasty ghouls that caused some problems in the past. <laughs> well, for those who will be watching this, or those who are at the con, be sure to stop by uh, 916 Ghostbusters. Yep. Again, Sean, thank you, and hopefully you're, you enjoy the rest of the con. Oh, I will, for sure. So, and then uh, follow me on Facebook too, uh, 916 Ghostbusters on Facebook. And link to that will be in the description below. Thank you. Yep. How are we doing, Monique? We're doing good, Wayne. How are you? Oh, we want to... Here we go. I'll hold it. Oh, uh, yeah. How does it feel to be back at Metal Arc Comic Con again? It feels good. I'm excited. Um, I ran into a lot of the same people I saw from the last time, and it's, it's a good reunion. And I can see your booth is doing really well this year. Yeah, for sure. I'm here um, this year. Um, I'm here with my friend Lily on that illustration, and she's pretty awesome. Nice. So what kind of stuff do we have this year for your booth? What was the question again? I'm sorry. What kind of stuff do we have this year for your booth? So for the booth this year, we just, um, right here, we just have, you know, the basics. We have, we have prints, stickers, keychains, buttons, and things of that nature, at least on my side. And then Lily here, what, well, over here. And then Lily right here, excuse me folks, Lily has... This pretty cool thing right oh, here. Um, she has like these trading. She has these trading cards here. We want to show when. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You're this good. has actually been pretty popular. Uh, they're uh, just trading cards, little mini prints, and uh, they're all a mystery, so you never know what you're gonna get. It makes it really fun. Um, and I made them all handmade by myself. I sprayed them, printed them, made them nice and thick and durable. So. Yeah. And this is your first year at Metal Arc. 
Yes, first year. It's really fun. I really like talking to everybody here. It's super cool. And I'm sure you guys are looking forward to Anna Medford in October. Yes. I'm doing, uh, yeah, I'm doing Anna Medford by myself, I think, this time. I don't know if I asked you about that one yet. I'll go if you want to. I'll, 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 uh, we, we can talk about it. <laughs> well, I hope everyone is who will be coming to Med Middle Art Comic Con or those who will be watching this to be sure to make sure to look out for them at Anna Medford in October. And again, Monique and Andine, thank you. Thank for, you. Uh, for thank you, Wayne. You. You're very welcome. <laughs> I'm here with C. Andrew Nelson, actor of Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and visual effects artist here at Metal Art Comic Con. How are you doing, C? I'm doing great. I'm having an absolutely wonderful time. This, is, this has been great. It's a, I haven't been up to Oregon in a long, long time, so this is great. <laughs> and this isn't your first con with the con company, Colossus Girl Entertainment. No, no, no. I've done, I've done uh, their show in Merced. I've done their show in Pleasanton, and this is, this is my first time uh, oh, coming up here. How are you liking it so far? Oh, great. Everybody's wonderful. I mean, from what I've seen, you're, you're table, you've are been pretty busy today. I've been very blessed. A lot of people come over to say hi to me today, so, yeah. But you're liking the con so far, though? Oh, yes, of course. I take you plan on coming back eventually for another? You know, if, uh, yeah, you know, always in motion is the future, so you don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm definitely uh, having a great time now, and I'm, 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 this has just been a blast. So. And anyone who's watching this or at the con, be sure to stop by his table. I mean, yes. I don't think you want to be uh, have the Wrath of Vader at Alpha. If you do, the Force will be strong with you. If you don't, well, don't make me do to you what I did to my admirals. <laughs> Uh, th again, C, thank you for the interview oh, yeah. and everything, and Absolutely. you know, it was a pleasure. All right, the force is strong with you. Thank you. I'm here with Alan Fernandez, the actor who, who the last actor who played as the Tuscan Raider in the Star Wars New Hope. How are you doing, Alan? Very great. <laughs> I can speak. So is this your first time here in, at Metal Art Comic Con in, yes. in Oregon? Yes. And if I'm not mistaken, you were at one of Colossus Girl Entertainment's other conventions. Yes, I have been. Nice. Yeah. How are you liking the con so far? I love it. I love, I love seeing people in costumes. Just awesome. And the fans are just amazing. So, uh, real quick, what was it like playing as a Tusken Raider in uh, Star Wars A New Hope? Actually, uh, it wasn't that difficult. I was more concerned about looking after uh, Margie the Banther, you know, so I am a, a trainer, handler, and actor. Oh, so you did all three. I did all three. That's right. The Banthers were originally played by elephants. Yes. What what, was, one elephant. One elephant. Yes. What was that like, being the trainer and everything, and the handler for her? It, it, it came easy to me because I'm a uh, trainer of exotic animals. My my favorites were tigers. I w I wrestled tigers for a living and got paid for it. <laughs> That's awesome. That sounds pretty fun. Well, I hope you're enjoying the con so far. Oh yes, I am. I, I see that your I see your table's been pretty busy. <laughs> was awesome thank you and that helmet right there that's the one the, the, that's that's not uh, the original that a uh, fan made that for me but the original went back to the uh, archives at uh, skywalker ranch nice well again i hope you're enjoying the con and for those who are here at the con or watching this uh be sure to uh stop by the table and everything and come on down if you're still here again uh thank you alan thank you. I'm here with Jordan Redman at Metal Art Comic Con. How are you doing, Jordan? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So you played as the little angel in the Hocus Pocus movie. I did. What was that like? It was really exciting. It was really fun. How did you come across uh, doing that? I did a lot of child modeling as a kid, and I got into acting and doing a lot of auditioning. And I auditioned for a different part for the film, wasn't right for it. So the director liked me enough to give me the part of the little angel. Nice. And you got to meet Bette Midler. I did. I got to meet all the witches. And you're known for the line of saying, God bless you? Yes. 
I am. Bless you. So what do you think of the other cons so far? Is this your first con? This is my first con ever. And I really like it a lot. It's been really nice getting to talk to people. And since I'm local, it took me like three minutes to get here. Yeah, no, I think I remember like seeing something along like the last minute you were a last minute guest. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Are you are you planning on coming back to more cons after this? I'm not quite sure yet. It it just depends on the timing. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the con and those who are, you know, here to stop by and say hi and everything. Anything else you'd like to add in real quick? No, I'm just enjoying myself. Everybody's been super nice and I love meeting all the people. And those who'll be watching this or here, make sure to stop by uh, her booth and everything. And I'll be here. Again, thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Echo Chips at her booth. How are you doing, Echo? I'm doing good. Glad to be here. And this is what, your fourth, third year? For uh, we have vended every Anna Medford and every Meadowlark they've had so far, so we're stoked to come out and, and uh, support the event. Nice. So how are you guys liking the con so far since, <laughs> since um, you know, COVID's been lifting and everything? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just super happy to be here and to see the people that are coming out. And um, just generally, I'm stoked for, you know, just getting together with my fellow nerds. So I and feel at home here. <laughs> I think anyone does. And I see, like, your booth has been doing pretty well today. Um, yeah, we've had some good foot traffic. I would say it's kind of hard to gauge, like, the turnout for this year just because so many more people are spread between the different buildings that they have and then since they have the outdoor stage which is awesome uh, plus, phenomenal um it's been nice that there's enough space for people to get around and to move and to feel comfortable so and you're also joined here who are you so you joined here by my buddies paris and mo maple we make up uh three-fourths of the cross pajamas are good buddy bird nerd kale could not be here so no, this is like a second time i know they couldn't be here yeah you know it's a long drive from portland and especially for these smaller like one day cons it's, it's and with gas prices the way they are it's yeah. kind of hard to come <laughs> down but it's nice to go up there and you were cosplaying as april o'neill from yeah. the teen division ninja turtles yeah now did you make the cosplay yourself i did i sewed the whole thing this last weekend minus a couple touch-ups that i did last night um and i just kind of did it on a whim my real last name is o'neill spelled with one more l than april um, and so she's been on my list to cosplay for like quite a while now. Nice. Now you guys are also coming back to Anna Medford this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we will be vending at Anna Medford too. I don't know what I'm going to wear for that yet, so it's a surprise for both of us. And for those who are watching or at the con, be sure to stop by their booth and also to be sure to check them out on their Instagram, which is... The Crafts Cross Pajamas. Pajamas. Thank yep. you. <laughs> so yeah, again, thank you and everything for you know taking time for this. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for stopping. I'm here with Rodney Lockett at Meadowlark Comic Con of Iron Gate Comics. How are we doing, Rodney? I am doing excellent. Are you enjoying the show? I'm so far enjoying the show. Uh, is this your guys' second or third year for uh, Meadowlark Comic Con? This is our second year. We did last year and then this year. Now, how does it feel to be back again this year? Oh, we're excited. We're happy to be back. We like uh, Grants Pass quite a bit. Mind telling us a little bit about your booth and what you do? Well, uh, we're Iron Gate Comics. We've been around since 2014. We uh, are self-published, our own titles, which are All Winter Society, Guardians of Creation, Iron Gate Comics University, our universe, sorry, and uh, uh, Power Company we're involved in. And we're working on American Alliance number one right now. How was it like been uh, writing your own comics and everything? It's fun. It's challenging. Uh, me and my wife both are the writers. Neither one of us are the artists, so... We do have commission out art, which is why we do these shows, which helps uh, generate income to pay for the artists. Mind giving your wife a little shout out? I know she doesn't want to be hidden. Uh, yeah, she's behind us here, uh, Felicia Lockett, and uh, she she's camera shy. Oh, well, no, nope, she no, peeked out a little bit. Little sneak peek. There little... we go. There she is. Well, I hope you guys have a good con this year, and those who will be watching this within, you know, next week will want to stop by probably. Are you guys got met at a Medford this year, too? I don't know. We didn't realize Medford had a Comic-Con. Yeah, well, it's, well, it's going to be here at Grants Pass. 
Oh yeah, we'll, we'll be here next year. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here next year. Yeah, and uh, and you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Iron Gate Comics. Again, <laughs> Rodney. Rodney, sorry, I almost wanted to call you Phil. Yeah, I don't blame you. Sorry, Th- I don't blame uh, you Phil. <laughs> Thank you, Rodney, and I hope again, you know, hope you guys enjoy the con. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'm here with Jorge Pacheco at Metal Arc Comic Con. How are you doing, Jorge? I'm doing well, thank you. So, mind telling us a little bit about your booth and what you do? I've been a comic book artist for uh, 36 years. I've worked on such characters as Lowell and Hardy, the Three Stooges, the Pink Panther, the Jetsons, the Flintstones, and I worked briefly for Jim Garfield Davis. Who is he again? Jim Davis, you know, the guy that draws Garfield. The oh, cat, really? Yeah. You got you work with him? Yeah. What was it him. like working with him? He was a sweetheart really was he was a great guy so what would you say uh the, your favorite one that you worked on was well my favorite cartoon growing up was uh, popeye i actually do a couple of popeye covers from my old uh the company i used to work for harvey comics what was that what was that like it was great it was really great and now is this your first time here at the con this is my first year at the con yeah. how are you liking it so far it's, it's been great everyone's been so nice and it's a great area it's definitely one you don't want to miss i know and the, for those who are watching those who are at the con be sure to check him out on. You have an Instagram? I know, but I have a website. Well, we'll be sure to check out his well, yeah, channel. What the website is? It's uh, Pacheco Tunes, my last name, and then T O O N S. Be sure to check that out. And those who are uh, watching or here at the con, be sure to ch- uh, make sure to check out his booth. Thank you so much. You're very well. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. I'm here with Louis. Uh, <laughs> How do you pronounce your last name? Rivera. Rivera here at Metal Art Comic Con at his booth. How are we doing, Louis? We're doing good, thank you. So, what do you do here at your booth? Well, that I'm promoting some of my comic books that I have the pleasure to work for. This is the comic book I do for the show every year. To, uh, there's a different issue, so so far we have done three of those with the number four to debut next year, so. And of course, I do work, do work for other creators. Work for other creators too, so. There's plenty to choose from, mostly superhero stuff. And how are you liking it here at Metal Arc so far? Oh, you know what, it's really nice. I'm impressed with the beauty of the place and the people too, so. Now, Everybody this, I ask, they're happy. Now this is not your first time here at the con. It is though. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It is your first the, time in the state and in, on, on the con. So, well, for those who are watching or those who are at the con, be sure to stop by his table and check out his comics and his work. Oh yeah, there's a lot to to, to look for, and there's actors, and there's a show, movies, there's a panels. So we have a good time here. Thank you, and you take care, Lewis. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So how are you guys liking Metal Arc Comic Con this year? I think it's really interesting so far. I mean, I just got here, so I'm not yeah, really sure. Not that long ago. <laughs> I already been... bought pins. I was like, this has been what my kind of pins have you bought so far? I bought an asexual pin, a gender fluid pin, and a rainbow pin. Nice. And both of you are cosplaying as Jinx and Silkle from the Netflix series, series Arcane, right? Yes. I made both of our cosplays because he can't draw a circle. And yeah. I gotta ask, who took longer, Jinx or Silco? Jinx. Absolutely. Look at the good detail on this thing. And I got it. What's your handle name again on Instagram? On Instagram, it's uh, kaiju underscore commission 611. And you're also the creator behind this mask right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yeah. So I gotta ask, how long did it take to make that? I'm honestly not really sure. The head <laughs> alone with full time probably took about, I want to say, a week. 
I'm not mistaken, is that Twitch on your shirt from League of Legends? Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> so, how are you all liking the con so far? I'm happy. I just got yeah. here, so I got a little bit of venue exploring to do. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, this is not your first year either. No, it is not. I come every year. I this usually go with him. Year. This is my first this year. This is my first year here. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are enjoying the con and everything. And you going to join the cosplay contest this year? Yes, we are. Looking forward to uh, seeing that, and also again, thank you, and don't forget to also, you know, make sure to like and subscribe so you can see this on the YouTube channel later. Got it. Again, thank you, guys. I'm here with Brian and DJ at Melark Comic Con. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Doing pretty good. Yep. Pretty good. Having this. Fun. What was that? <laughs> Having fun. This is your guys' what? Third year? Second year for Metal Arc? Uh, well, however many years they've had it, we've been yeah, to every one. Everyone. I think what since 2018. That sounds about right. And there was one skip, so yeah, every one of them. And you guys are in your Ghostbusters attire again yep. this year. Yep. yep. How's it feel to be cosplaying them again? It's. Well, well, this is the first time we've been together doing it at Metal Arc. For so. Yeah, it's always been hit and miss. Like yeah. Rose City, I was doing it; she was doing something else. The other last year's Metal Arc, I was here; she wasn't. So yeah, yeah it, it's fun. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> guys, been enjoying the con so far? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's fun. Yep. It's smaller than I thought, but not as many vendors. But it's it's fun. It's got nice people in costume. Guys, could be planning on coming back for Anime Fest in October. Probably not. No, not but, in the anime. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not severely anyway. It's fun, yeah. but. You know, we like to support the local cons, obviously, and everything, but, you know, if it's going to be more of the same, i got, I got other stuff we can do. Yeah, um, no. Rose City, though. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the con and everything, and, you know, for those who are watching, make sure to have them look out for you as well. Yeah. And again, thank you, by the way. Oh, no, no problem, Wayne, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. So how are we liking the con so far, Josh? It that fun. And I can see that your cosplay is Beetlejuice from the movie or the the, play, the stage production. Mix of both, to be honest. Oh. Uh, I I enjoy both the both the um, movie and the uh, Broadway musical. So I decided for my costume, wanted to do a mixture of both. So I have elements of both, and my voice is my own um, combination of the two. Nice. How long did it take you to do the makeup? Uh, an hour. Nice. This is my first time doing. This is my first time doing makeup too. Nice. What uh, was the hardest part about the makeup? Um, making sure the cream makeup, the white base, stays on my oily skin. <laughs> hey, with make it's not it's not always easy when you're applying makeup to your face. Yeah. I had to blow, I had to blow dry my face off. Oh. <laughs> now is this your first time at the con or? Uh, here, yes. I went to some of the ones in Comic Falls before. Oh, okay, like yeah. KCC Comic Con. Yep. Nice. And uh, Tech Con. Nice. And what are your thoughts on the, this con so far? It's not bad. I really, I really enjoy it. Everyone, everyone here has been great. Um, it's been cool meeting some of the people. Some of the people like I really, um, really enjoyed. Like um, Floydman over here. He he was an inspiration to me artistically. I based some of my art styles, my paint stuff, off of him. And I um, mean, yeah, it's, it's been really cool. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the con. Any advice for those who may might may? <laughs> any advice for those who may want to come to this con? Uh. If you, if, you, if you want to come, just go ahead and do it. it, it it's um, it's worth checking out. People here, everyone here is really friendly. The vendors are really nice. Um, and if you want to cosplay, you have an idea, just go for it. Like, to start with start start looking at the goodwill, find some stuff, and just see what see what you come up with. So pretty sound advice again. Thank you, Josh. Yep. And again, Pleasure. for those who are watching, be sure to uh, check this out. Or if you're here, be sure to check it out as well. Yeah. Have a great day. Give it to these guys now. Yeah, we're gonna give it to our judges and they'll tell us who won. So, round of applause for everybody. <laughs> it was so not easy. So, in third place, we have Tinker in the kids category. And we 
you do all the kids for stinkers. Come on up. Check this place a little more time, everybody. Looks amazing. In second place, we have the Hocus Pocus sisters. Come on, come on, come on. It's bedtime. It might be bedtime. All right. That is it for Metal Arc Comic Con 2022. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video over the convention showcase. Once again, I am Wayne the Unknown. Thank you for listening, and until next time, thank you for watching. And also, we'll be seeing you at Anna Medford in October.